Water tanks are full, fuel tanks are full, bellies are full, we had a feed at the pub. Now down to Chambers Pillar for the night. And we'll uh, see where we get to from there. Probably hopefully Dalhousie tomorrow. And then onto the Udnadatta track. Alright, time to air back down. It's on the old garn line now, we're following that. So it starts to get a bit rough again, so drop these back down, get into it way down to Chambers Pillar. So that should be a ripper to see the sun set tonight, sunrise tomorrow morning there. It really brings out the colours in the rock. I used to use the JT Brooks tyre deflators, but I found this heat, they seem a bit, well, not quite as accurate as back home, so I'm just using the quickie for here. It's nice and easy. This one's just the 80s outdoors one. Works a treat. The whole principle of airing down is pretty simple really. It's to let the tyres do some of the work absorbing some of the corrugations. Just makes it a lot easier on your suspension, on your car, on everything really. Let's hit it. This is on the way down to Chambers Pillar from Alice. Come across these old ruins. Windmill, water tanks out here. Another old building used to be here. Water tank up the top there. You can see them on the side of the road, so it's always worth a stop in just to see what you can find. We've determined that this is the first drive through oh. coffee shack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> McDonald's? Yeah. <laughs> it's Mac Mac Macca's in the 30s. Yep. The old Besser blocks, mate. Yeah. It's good for it, yeah. It's good for insulation. Yeah. Need it. Well, I think they need some more insulation in the roof. Yeah. I've seen all year, all year round tan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I think I'm burning just standing here. <laughs> There's buildings everywhere here, isn't there? There is. It's pretty good. Alright. I'm gonna put some sunscreen on before I burn. <laughs> Too late. I can hear you sizzling before you bake it. <laughs> so the stuff you come across in the middle of absolute nowhere. You've got a patrol. You've got a speaker. You've got a Barbie car. A rim. Motorbike with a bunny. 
All right. Someone's obviously pinched an ATM and left it out here. Classic. At least it's got power though. She's plugged in. She's ready to go. Oh, shit, that's handy, I think, buddy. Phone box, motorbike, and a little bike. The ATM in the middle of the outback. What do you do? Get Grab money here. Out. How much? Twenty bucks. I reckon you're probably lucky if they got twenty bucks. Oh, it's gonna have to have twenty bucks. I'll card in. Well, Sharon must be sponsored by Sharon. Pin number five four six seven. Look at that! That's incredible. Got? And look where we are. Out in the middle of bloody nowhere. And we find an ATM. And, got cash. and it's probably the last 20 bucks in it. Another use for the Kimberley, Dave? Yeah, mate. Work for it. So on a bit of wood cartage. It's all happening. Yeah, man, this five, minute, five minutes work, she wakes, enough wood for the night. And probably then some. Oh, so almost out in the chamber's pillar. It's got a bit of firewood. It's out there. It's out here, so oh, that's the aerial. Behind these trees over here. This is a little tiny pillar just sticking out of the ground on its own. That's where we're heading. Chambers Pillars. Chambers Pillar. 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 Plural. Plural. What name? Singular? Singular. Is that singular? a plural? So it's not a plural. Yeah. Plural is plural too? Plural is multiple. Plural okay, so is multiple. It's not a plural. Not a plural. <laughs> Edit that out, mate. <laughs> I try to be smart and it backfires every time. Oh, there's another one for the, uh, the, outtakes. the outtakes for Dave. Uh, <laughs> I don't ever claim to be smart, but I can lift heavy things. <laughs> I can't even do that. <laughs> That's my forte. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so at Chambers Pillar now, walking down the little viewing sand track thing. Girls are in front of us there. Dave there. Got the wife, the gorgeous wife behind. Hi, Dale. Oh, nice. Hi, Dale. Add on, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> She's just tacked on the back. She's just tacked on the back. She's always tacked on the back. <laughs> Bloody hell. Um, you look even shorter now. <laughs> All right. So I know I'm rambling on a bit. I'm just trying to get a little bit closer before I show you this. Probably one of the best sunsets I think I've seen in a long time. This is, all right, before we go past this rock, I reckon that's right, right about there somewhere. How is that? Is the sun in the hole? Okay, left a bit, left, up a frag, left a bit, oh, right, oh, right there. That's Captured the, it. That's the money shot, you gonna bottle it? I'm gonna bottle it. 
So Chambers Pillar, there's a bit of a trek in here, it's like 42k of some pretty pretty, pretty, cor pretty corrugated, rocky, fun roads. <laughs> I'll put up, we'll put up some shots of that. <sighs> Definitely worth the, worth the din so far. Thanks for bringing me here, Dave. That's alright, mate. Appreciate it. This is a long time ago. A very long time. Like the dinosaur. There we go, stand at Chambers Pillar at sunset. Pretty special. This was here a long time ago when yeah. like the dinosaurs dinosaurs were here. Yeah, probably was. Millions of years. Just up here. It's the carvings with their initials. Back in 1870. Yeah, let's go back and get a drink, eh? Okay. There it is out in the background. Camped here last night. Beautiful little spot. Nice clean facilities. Um, plenty of room for camping. Sunset and sunrise absolutely spectacular here. Like the colours that come out of that the rock formation up there, just absolutely spectacular. So they're probably the times of day that you really want to capture when you're here. Towing, you could tow in here, no drums at all. Van, camper, whatever. Um, road is pretty choppy, pretty rough. There's one, no, two big hills on the climb in, um, same thing. You could tow a camper or a big van up there, no worries, just low range if you had probably a, a really big van. Um, so yeah, get, do yourself a favor, get in, check out Chambers Pillar. So this is that big hill I was talking about earlier. It's not, it's not big, it's not hard, it's solid, but yeah, it is quite steep. Tell that was your second attempt because you didn't make the first one. <laughs> Just a little side check. <laughs> close. Very close. 
I think it's, I think it's a giant sand anchor you got on the back. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> that'll, that'll, help. that'll do it every time. I've got to say, that camper trailer is bloody good. It goes exactly where you want it to. Take two. Oh no! So close. That was bloody close. Considering he's got a camper trailer on, full family. That's bloody good. <laughs> Alright, third attempt for Dave. <laughs> Go Dave! <laughs> Love it, that's awesome. Alright, uh, that's it for our play. Oh, time to get some kilometers under the belt. See, sand is soft as. It's good. Uh, windy as hell. There's a bit of dust in the background there. Just found some ruins on the side of the old garn line, so that used to be the old garn line down there. Just come across this little section here, a bit off canvas, sandy. It's not too bad. I, I drove through it fine. RCM was sliding towards the tree a bit, but bush barriers, you know, held, held off the uh, scratches. Dave's got the camper though, so I'm just a little bit worried. Camper's going to end up in the bush, so just got out to give him a bit of a guide, a bit of help. I can hear him coming now. Yeah, there he is. I can see him now. So we'll see how he uh, how he tackles this. Some 
pace. The hose is making it look easy. All right, so we've done that pretty good. Dave's a pretty good job. Bloody dust. It's pretty cool, isn't it? That's that's this, all, that this was cool. Is dude. This yeah. is real outback. Yeah. This yeah, is what I was hoping cool. for. Yeah. Like just yeah, out of the way. It's a great little track. Like yeah. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, no, it's mad. Absolutely loving it so far. Just little challenges every now and then. Yeah. And yep. More so for Dave with the camper, but you've done that. Yeah. You've done that like a, like a boss. Oh, of course. Why 62, mate? <laughs> what, why, why did you buy a 62? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah it's the extra camber on the rear wheels. Yeah, ra 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 race camber. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get moving. Rolling into Fink. Just finished the race. There's the finish line just there. Lambert Centre of Australia. Where are we, Sam? In the middle of Australia. In the middle of Australia. Where are we? In the middle of Australia. Yeah. All right. So what there used to be here, that used to be an Australian flag up the top there. Maybe if I can find the footage, I'll overlay it onto this. But that's what it looked like. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Well, yeah, that used to be an Australian flag <laughs> flying off the that's top there. That's why I was listening to you. Yeah. So yeah, the flag used to be up there. And, yeah. Someone's obviously, it's either been wrecked or pinched. Pinched, probably pinched. Center of Australia, smashing Zuber Dupers. The joys of having a freezer, eh? Here's a lesson why carrying enough fuel to always get you past one of those stops that you were hoping to stop at is vital. Down here, it's too hot to put fuel into the car, it actually vaporizes. So I've got about 200k range, 230 maybe in the car. We've got to travel about 300k's, 350 maybe, but I've got 40 litres in the trailer. Always, when you're out back or somewhere remote, carry more than what you need. Down there to Dalhousie yeah. and then come back that way to Bloods Creek yeah, out or to drop down, down or down, drop down, down that, that way. way. That's very rough that way. Oh, easy to find at Uringa. And you drive right past oh, gotcha. on the highway. Right. <laughs> it's free. It's cold. So we can Alright, so just left Mount Dare. We've had a bit of a change of plans. We were going to go to Dalhousie, but it's still 41 degrees outside. Um, the water in Dalhousie is probably about the same sort of temperature. So it just kind of seems pointless just to swim in that. Um, 
So what we've done is, if you head out towards uh, Uringa, there's actually a water hole out there, um, shaded campsite as well, under some red gum trees. So we're gonna shoot for that instead. Um, see if the gamble pays off, let's wait and see.